Greetings, readers. We thank you for visiting our website and for supporting us. My name is Jason Kolnos, and I'm a digital editor here at the Cape Cod Times. I'm happy to show you all sorts of cool stuff on our website. We have a lot of ground to cover, so let's get started pretty quickly. The first thing you'll want to do is open up a web browser and type in www.capecodtimes.com into the URL address bar. The first thing you'll see on the main Cape Cod Times website is what we call the carousel. This is where we showcase all sorts of stories, photo galleries, videos, other digital elements that we think will enhance your user experience. These could be stories that appeared in the print newspaper, online only stories, or um, stories that are uh, in the archives. So also down here we have a below three bucket which we also uh, use to feature some of our best content. Over here, you'll see on the right is what we call the Happening Now bucket, which we populate and update frequently with local news as it's happening, as, as well as national and international news. Scrolling further down the page, you'll see our Top Stories bucket, which features more stories from the Cape Cod Times and more headlines, our picks, which are some of our favorite articles that we think you'll enjoy. Uh, but one of the most popular areas of our website is the Photo Gallery section. We have some of the most talented photographers around the Cape, and they're constantly uh, adding photo galleries. You can check uh, out the most recent ones right here in this section, or, or you can click on More Photo Galleries and it will load all of the photo galleries that have been appearing on the Cape Cod Times website. You can just keep scrolling down to find uh, the photo gallery that is your favorite. Scrolling down from our photo gallery section, you'll notice that uh, all the sections in the print newspaper have their own little spot on the website, from sports to Cape Week, which appears on Friday, entertainment and business. You can also see upcoming events, which is our community calendar, to let folks around uh, the Cape Cod know what's going on on this peninsula. And uh, also you can see our video bucket. So every time we do a video on the Cape, uh, it'll be populated here. And the further you scroll down, the one thing we did want to show you is at the very bottom of our website, you can sign up for our newsletters, you can manage your subscription, you can subscribe to the Cape Cod Times, and also you'll definitely want to click this one, which is how to contact us. This is a page with all sorts of contact information about uh, how to send press releases, how to get your uh, stuff in the newspaper. So I think you'll find this very helpful. Back at the top of the page is the most important button, the login button. The Cape Cod Times is a subscription-based website, so you need to make sure you're always logged in with your digital subscription credentials to make sure you can see all of our content. All you have to do is click this little icon in the upper right in blue to log in. It will eventually pull up a little window that you'll use uh, to add your uh, email address and the password that you use to sign on to our website. Let's uh, take a minute here and see if I can log on. Be sure to remember to click Remember Me so you don't have to keep logging on and off. We are in. If you're successfully logged in, you'll see the word logged out. Another very important aspect of our website is what's called the sections pull down, or as we call it, the hamburger menu. It's located in the upper left. You can see sections here with three horizontal lines. You drop down this menu and it shows you all sorts of places on our website that you can get to pretty quickly. It's broken down by section, as you'll see, home, news, sports, entertainment. You can see our photo galleries and videos. So every single section on here, uh, you can click to obituaries, our contact number list, weather, a link to our blog site, Sharks page, our Cape Cod Online sister site that's all about fun things happening on the Cape, uh, which we'll talk about mo uh, momentarily. Also the crossword puzzle, horoscope, uh, so all sorts of interesting things in the section pull down. One of the most popular features on the Cape Cod Times website that people absolutely love is what's called the e-edition, and this is the exact digital replica of the Cape Cod Times newspaper. You can definitely access the e-edition in the sections pull down in the upper left over here with this e-edition link, but most people use the top uh, bar tab, uh, the e-edition link right here to click on the e-edition. So once you click on the e-edition, it should pop right up after you're logged in. So this is the e-edition, uh, how it first appears. On the left, you can see this is exactly what the Cape Cod Times would look like if it's delivered to your house. And on the right, this is the index of every single section uh, of the e-edition. So uh, most people check out the e-edition using these, uh, these arrows here when you can just cycle through each page of the Cape Cod Times newspaper. And I'll just cycle through a couple pages so you get a little example here. And you can go through every single page. Um, also, on the right-hand side here, this is the index. You can actually click any of these links to go directly to the story in the online format. 
Um, so if you didn't like the index here, you can click this little uh, X and, and check out of this and have a bigger view of the uh, Cape Cod Times E-Edition. So again, I'm cycling through some of the pages. There's the front page of this particular E-Edition. So you get a, uh, a view of both uh, the left and right side, if, that, if you prefer that. So you can cycle through there. If you ever want to get back to the index, you can just click this little button right here, Index, and it will show you the stories uh, in, in a, uh, a way for you to easily navigate here. Here's another interesting thing you can do with the E-Edition. If you go to a story here, you see where my uh, cursor is, and click once, it'll bring up a big view. If you like a nice big text, the photos really pop in this view. Uh, so you can see it really large. So if you want to see it in a smaller version, you just uh, click it once again, and it goes to the double page view. Another interesting thing that you can do is uh, cycle through uh, each of the pages, and you can even download an individual page to your computer. There's a little button here on the uh, upper right bar called Pages, and if you click that, it'll show you every single page. A For this particular e a e edition, it's A1 to uh, C8, and you can actually uh, download each page in a PDF if you click uh, this little checkbox and click Download Selected Pages and then click here to download it, it will generate a PDF uh, right to your computer. And then you can double click that and see what the uh, Cape Cod Times uh, uh, page looks like in an e-edition format. A couple other things you can do with the e-edition is explore previous uh, Cape Cod Times e-editions. There's a little uh, link right here called editions here on the e-edition and you can click that and you'll be able to see the last month or so of uh, Cape Cod Times e-editions, and you can click on any one and it should pull that up immediately. Or you can search the archive with this little link here, and this goes back to about a year. So if you want to see something from 2018, let's check August 14th, it should uh, pull up August 14th's uh, e-edition pretty quickly. What's great about the e-edition is there's multiple ways to view it based on your personal preference. So go ahead and play with the e-edition, and if you ever have any questions about it, send us an email to digital at capecutonline.com.